all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the webpage builder again and in this video in this series i'm just gonna be cover all the topics whatever the your queries in the last few months and few days i got a lot of comments from the people that uh, i missed some video in uh, like later videos whatever i have been created till now so i'm just going to cover all the topics into this and this this web page builder gonna be implemented into the javascript with the template linter of the django framework so i'm just going to use this django in python and into that i'm just going to implement this script js so how i gonna do this let's continue the series and welcome back to the channel guys okay so first we're gonna do we have to create a project that we need to use the command django admin like this one django admin start project and then your project name so i have already created one project over here so i don't i'm not gonna create that project so you can see the project is running over here right now what i have to do i just need to run the server so into the python we have to run it like python manage.py run server okay so it's gonna start the project and it's, it's showing some warnings over here you have 18 unapplied unapplied migrations and project may not work properly until you migrate so something like a warning is showing we have to migrate the project because there there would be some migrants over here so it's a backend framework django if you know don't know about it so in this video i'll cover all the things so you will be able to learn it properly so don't worry about that so let's see in local host 8000 it's working it's running or not so you can see my project is running successfully now what we what we're gonna do we're gonna create an app over here inside this so how we can create this so i'm just going to do python manage dot pi start app and your app name whatever the app because in in a single project you can create a multiple apps inside this django framework so i'm just going to going to create one app over here so i'm just going to name it builder okay so my app has been created if you want to see that so you can see into this one file has been created so first i'm going to create a url.py over here because for this app there's a route gonna be separated so what we're gonna do just copy this one from here and paste it in type is paste all the things inside this one okay so just remove this one because we don't need that okay we just need path and i'm just going to and also remove this path as well and import all the things from the views file from dot import views okay so we have imported the views over here now what we have to do we have to create a default path so path and path this is gonna be route because we don't need any uh, specific route so for default one we just need to don't need to use slash as well just make it empty and views dot views dot index index gonna be your file name so i'm just going to put it index or you can name it as a home as well so we're gonna see late this one later like what is the meaning of this name because uh, whenever you use the template engine and you have to uh, provide a route over there so then this name is gonna be used if you have worked with some uh, framework earlier so you would be able to understand this properly so just go into the views and just create a view def function over here index request okay and just return it http response http response hello world okay so let's import this http from django dot http import http response okay so now let's include this urls.py into this main urls file because this is your project file where all the app gonna be included so you need to include it over here so what i'm going to do just include this include over here import this include and path gonna be comma 
include include builder dot urls okay why this show error because you have to put this okay so i hope this one will work let's see if it's working or not so if we gonna reload this so you can see now hello world is coming which is returning from our index file this uh, sorry index function which is written over here into views.py so now we're gonna configure the template engine before that before doing that into the settings.py we need to configure our app over here whatever the app name is so let's write it builder dot apps dot builder configs let's make this correct it is correct or not so how you can do this just going to app start by and see over here what is your file name so app name is builder config so it's correct okay so in every each and every project whatever the app you are you are creating inside a project you have to include all the apps inside this so you can see multiple apps are already assigned over here Django content dot admin admin auth content type session manager so these are the apps that has been already used so you also need to use this one because this is your app if you won't want to include this one so your uh, migration and models won't gonna work into this okay so let's uh, what we're gonna do next so we need to create a template engine so first create a template file okay let's create one folder into the main file templates okay and inside that just create uh, oh no sorry not over here it should be outside of that so we're gonna just creating outside of that so templates okay and inside that just create base html and index.html okay so why i am creating base.html so this is gonna be base file like uh, every time into the index.html file we have to write rock doc type uh, like uh, doc type and uh, header footer and it, all these things so we don't have to include those things everywhere so you need to just change the content in between the header and footer so that's why we create base file so i'm just going to uh, put the default html content over here whatever we i have to use other and rest of the things what i use to so just create block content and inside this just to end block so like uh, wherever you are going to uh, write any kind of file so you don't have to write these things these things gonna be automatically included just you have to extend extend this base.html into this one as this html file so and let me show you how we can do that so just extend base.html okay and uh, now include block content block content and and block okay so inside that you can just write your h1 tag and write hello world okay so we have already written so first we need to configure our template engine inside the settings.py so if you see over here into the template you can see it's already written over here only what we have to do we just need to include our template engine. So os import os dot path dot join and inside that just put it your template name templates that's it you have to do so this is only it gonna include your templates whatever the template you are uh, template in whatever the template you are going to use so you just need to configure into the setting and this Django framework will automatically include those templates so now what we have to do we just need to return our templates from this views.py because our URL gonna be mapped over here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to include the render as, as well over here the render okay render is not coming so let's type it render render 
okay and just request comma request comma index dot html okay and let's run our app and see it's working so it's running now and if we reload our page so you can see hello world is coming and if i would change anything over here into this one into the template file if i would change anything into index.html so hello world hello abhishek so you can see it's going to be changed okay now about it we are our template engine is running fine and everything is set and up now what we're gonna do we're gonna be configuring our great js builder into that so let's go to the docs and so we're just going to include uh, everything with the basic okay so i'm not going to use this one because uh, we have to go with the cdn right now because we are working with the html files so just copy this thing okay and just copy and paste it inside the base.html okay so it has been included over here now what we have to do we have to just uh, uh, go down and we have to include this id JS. so just copy this one and uh, just going to index.html and remove this one and paste it over here okay everything we have to do just step by step go and it will work okay and next thing what we have to do we just need to do this one initialize the editor so copy all right guys so you can see our html builder has been configured properly so you can see it's coming as it is way it looks like over here okay hello world component everything is coming everything you can see like this these four icons are also coming so it's coming on our local host so currently if you can see i have put the style and uh, this js over here like this because we can't use any css and js file directly over here because it's not working because we have to use static files so js and all the other files is kind of static files that you if you need to put those files so you have to uh, configure the static files as well so that thing we're gonna do into the next video till then just go ahead with this configuration whatever i have done right now so let's see uh, into the next thing and also into this one we gonna work with the models as well and we're gonna save the document whatever we will edit over here we're gonna save it into the database and we will get it from the database and that database gonna be sqlite which gonna be local i'm not going to configure anything but later after that everything gonna be configured so we're gonna be using this mysql database and look with the local host later you can make it into the relational database anywhere into the server so that's your choice but i'm just going to show you like how the database configuration gonna work with mysql into the django so in default if you will see so in, De in django you will see this sqlite is showing over here and also sqlite is configured into the database configuration over here okay so you can see the databases engine is db backend sqlite so if you will configure customer configuration of database so you need to change the name of database and all other things so don't worry about that we will do everything with, but uh, it's not gonna take it i'm not gonna make it the long video for this one so we will go by step by step and learn everything properly okay so uh this one this part has been done now let's move to the another part as well so you can see this it's showing some block manager and all the things over here so i'm just going to configure it by my own way so i'm not going to take it like this like it has been configured over here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to make it into the center and i'm going to make this style manager uh, block manager over here and a style manager over here so how i can do that i'm just going into my index.html file okay yeah so it's written over here eggs so let's see it's showing blocks over here so let's make it and wrap it inside a div okay so i'm just going to create a parent div over here okay so inside that parent div i'm just going to put uh, div and that's gonna be id equals to block manager block 
blocks okay and after that it's going to be this one ggs and after that it's going to be style badge id style okay so this is gonna be style manager okay and let's uh, make it configurable so we're gonna just make this name as well class name parent parent builder parent builder okay so just copy it control c and to go into base dot html so we're gonna write the css for this one over here as well okay we don't have to go anywhere so just write the css dot p okay and display flex justify content space between centers uh, center align item center okay so just make it center and let's uh, make this blocks dot block dot blocks so actually it's id so we're gonna use it as so we're gonna make this uh, so width gonna be 15 percent of the screen okay and uh, height 100 bh make it uh, height uh, 100 bh okay same for uh, this is style manager as well control c so just after control v width gonna be 15 percent and height gonna be your 100 vh and let's see what about the gjs so let's see how it looks like. so let's see how it looks like into our document so currently it's not looking good let's see how it's not the center and width for okay let's give the sum width to this one as well index.html hashtag ggs so i'm just going to copy this one uh, hashtag control v and width gonna be 15 15 30 70 percent okay now. and height gonna be 100 vh let's see uh, i hope it should look good you know the page is not working good Let's see why it's not working good. Move this width from here, height from here. Okay, so I have removed the width and height, and now it's look good. So maybe there's some already. So it's width and height already defined into this config. So we're gonna remove it. So let's remove this from here, and now voila. So let's copy some other code from there for the, for the block manager and style manager okay so you can see for the blocks it's up in the block manager so let's copy this one till here control c and paste it after this one panels okay. so copy it and let's see what we get so all the box gonna be coming to the should be coming into the left side okay so you can see left side the blocks are coming so if we drag into this one so we are getting some content also image we drag so we are getting so our builder is kind of going to be ready for the con according to the configuration of CapJS and also don't worry about this with this uh, source code I'm gonna put into the github repository so you can copy the source code and do the editing as well as per your own choice okay so in the next video we will learn about the static files how we can add the static files uh, into the Django framework or also we're gonna do some more and happen we're gonna add the style manager and uh, this uh, make this block manager little bit more uh, better into the looks okay so we're gonna add the css as well so that's we're going to the, that's we're gonna do into the later video thank you so much guys thank you for watching and till then tata bye and, and be connected with the channel thank you so much